composite airplane now? This one is. This is a second generation from the Remos company, a German company, all made, designed, fabricated, everything done in Germany with fine quality German engineering. Uh, this is called the GX model. It follows the G3 that had been a very popular airplane in Germany for many years, used successfully in flight schools for a long time. Well, this is a tricycle gear. Uh, ground handling is how? Uh, uses conventional steerable nose wheel. This also looks to have a door that gives a little more cabin room by the way it's designed. Yeah, it's got a little bit of that curvature that's a very common theme in some of these airplanes. You can see it throughout this part. It gives you a little middle elbow room just where you need it. And it uses a gull wing door through this very nice latch they've got. Gull wing doors are very nice because the door gets out of your way. You just put yourself back here, put your rear end up on the seat, swing your legs inside afterward. Very nice and comfortable airplane. Now this almost looks like a sports car interior here, Dan. It does. They've really redone this. When they went from the G3 to the GX model, uh, they redid the entire instrument panel and they put in this beautifully sculpted seats here with these side bolsters and everything. Sitting in this airplane is very comfortable for both occupants. It's not quite as wide as some of the other airplanes we've got on the market, but it makes up for that with just nice quality materials inside that give the pilot a lot of support in the seat structure. And it's even got a little bit of lumbar support. That's a real sticking point for me. So many airplanes are designed without any lower back support and in an hour you can get real sore. Won't happen to you in the Remos GX. Now, what type of control systems is used in it? Now, controls in this one, very nice. Two nice big joysticks. Gives you kind of a fighter pilot feel. And uh, trim indication, uh, trim uh, controls are right on the joystick. Push to talk on the joystick. And then down on the bottom, you have uh, rudder pedals. But the brake is still a center brake. That's a fairly common mechanism in light sport aircraft. Just a center brake in the middle means both occupants can use it. Applies on both wheels at the same time. Some people think that a steerable nose wheel is not quite sufficient and you need differential braking. Not true. This airplane can turn on a dime pretty nicely. Now, is this aircraft equipped with flaps, Dave? Yes, it is, Dave. It's got a nice, easily identified white flap switch here. Uh, press down for more flaps down, back up for up. But the, on the down, they're linear and you can have just as much as you want. And then the up automatically stays up until they're fully retracted. Also notice that this airplane uses the dual glass screens, but they're stacked one on top of the other, providing a lot of information to the pilot. Now, is there any adjustability built in the airplane for different uh, pilot types? Yes, the seats do adjust, but this one, the, the pilot side, the left side, also comes out, and behind the pilot seat, there's a whole storage area that goes back into the airplane somewhat, giving you a lot of room for stuff you don't need in flight. For things you do need in flight, if you can get your camera up in here, you got a couple little stash places here where you can put some items that you might want in flight, and they've got a nice little elastic cargo netting that keeps it in place. But there's one more thing that we've got to point out on this airplane, Dave, and that's the folding wings. There are not too many of these airplanes that have it, but for many people, that's a seller. And this one has a nice folding wing set up so that you can put them both back, you can store it in a much smaller space of a hangar, or you can have a whole rolling hangar a trailer that you can take your airplane all the way home with you. Part of that folding wing you can see up here. A nice easily identified safety pin with a nice big uh, continuous part there that makes sure that the wing is closed and you can easily tell it. You can even see that from inside the aircraft looking out at it. Very important quality to a folding wing. Uh, if we want more information, where do we go? We can just go to remos.com. That's R-E-M-O-S dot com. Find all the information on the airplane there. And do you also have a flight report on this, Dan? I have done a pilot report on both the G3, the older model, as well as the GX, and that's available on my website. That's bydanjohnson.com or bydanjohnson.com.